friends. We have been waiting for this moment. More trouble for Justin Trudeau and his Liberal Party. He's seeing a huge dive in popularity. Why don't people like you? <laughs> there is a level of polarization and toxicity that we see in a very visible way. Three question, Mr. Trudeau. Okay. Is you've sold us out to globalism. Okay. You are okay. not working for Canada. You are working for your globalist partners. I wonder how much they're paying you to betray Canada. Okay. What do we do with traitors in Canada, Mr. Trudeau? We used to hang them. Hang them for treason. And you're doing that very same thing to us now. Okay. Reject a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Yeah, I did. Why? Because his tariffs are too high and he doesn't seem to want to move. And I've told him, forget about it. And frankly, we're thinking about just taxing cars coming in from Canada. That's the mother load. That's the big one. Uh, we're very unhappy with the negotiations and the negotiating style of Canada. Uh, we don't like their representative very much. They've taken advantage. I love Canada, by the way. I have so many friends. I have everybody. It's so many friends. But of, of uh, admiration, I actually have for China um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime and say we need to go green as fast as we need to start you know investing in solar i mean there is a flex of king of podcast joe rogan had this to say recently about canadian prime minister justin trudeau let's listen canada is communist canada's crazy they're f***ed. they're f***ed. they got to get rid of that guy oh i just i didn't even i i just liked him i liked him before the pandemic. trudeau yeah yeah i was like he's a handsome guy yeah seems sweet yeah you know, it's like good, good looking guy, confident, good talker. Yeah. And then during the pandemic, I'm like, oh, you're a f***ing dictator. You stand back and let our biggest trading partner, the country with which we share the longest border. And actually, I could just say a great country. I love Canada. I've always loved Canada because of its natural beauty. Why should we let it become Cuba? Like, why, why don't we liberate it? We're spending all this money to liberate Ukraine from the Russians. Why are we not sending an armed force north to liberate Canada from Trudeau? And I mean it. Lefty Lunacy Canada, James. What did the police there come up with? Well, uh, yeah, you know, it's a pretty wild place up in Canada. Uh, they want you to uh, put your car keys out. Uh, have a look at uh, this here from the Toronto police chief. To prevent the possibility of being attacked in your home, leave your fobs at your front door. Because they're breaking into your home to steal your car. They're, they don't want anything else. A lot of them that they're arresting have guns on them. And they're not toy guns. They're real guns. They're loaded. <laughs> so there you have it. If you live in Toronto, just just leave your car keys by the front door. In fact, probably don't even bother locking your front door. So, in fact, but, but, why not just leave the whole place unlocked? Put your jewelry out on the front <laughs> porch, maybe your TV out of that, because you don't want to get hurt. All the thieves want is your car and your stuff and whatever else. Use a gun for self-protection in mm -hmm. Canada. That's not a right that you have in the Constitution or anywhere else. If you try and buy a gun and say it's for self-protection, no, you don't get that. You get it for hunting. You can get it for sports shooting. You can take it to the range. Uh, no problem, as long as you go through our rigorous background checks. Now, police are giving some tips on what to do when walking downtown. They say one thing you shouldn't do is carry a knife or pepper spray in your pocket. That's illegal. One of the things that uh, is great about election campaigns is that it's Canadians who get to choose uh, what their government is and what their parliament looks like. Uh, and what Canadians don't want is politicians organizing backroom deals around who actually gets to wield power. The Liberal government and the NDP are in talks to strike a historic deal that would keep the Liberal minority government in power for three more years. That means we would not have a federal election until 2025. Today, I'm announcing that the Liberal Party has reached an agreement with the new Democratic Party to deliver results for Canadians now. All right, Mr. Trudeau, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much again for your Wait, time. This is an election on big things that we didn't get to talk about. What we didn't talk like? about the pandemic. We didn't talk about climate change. These are the decisions people are taking. So, this is what people care about in BC. Mr. Trudeau, what people care about is among many things, reconciliation. And that's why that was among the top questions uh, I've asked I you today. We agree. have run the debate. We have run major news conferences that you have held throughout the campaign. Our colleagues across the country have asked for opportunities to interview you and yes. ask a range of topics, and you've denied their request. This is likely wow. from what we well, understand. Listen. The only
we hear from the leader of the opposition is uh, under the previous conservative government, everything was perfect. And what he is proposing to do is to make Canada great again. That is not what Canadians want. This supply and confidence agreement starts today and will be in place until the end of this parliament in 2025. The step towards registering your guns is, is just the first step towards taking away guns from everyone. That's never going to happen because here in Canada, we have a culture that has that has grown up with guns and it respects the need to, to go out into the wilderness and shoot things from time to time. It's part of the problem. We are banning 1,500 models and variants of these firearms by way of regulations. These weapons were designed for one purpose and one purpose only to kill the largest number of people in the shortest amount of time. There is no use and no place for such weapons in Canada. What do you and your family do to cut back on plastics? Yeah. Uh, we uh, uh, we have uh, recently switched to drinking uh, water bottles out of uh, water out of uh, when we have water bottles uh, out of a uh, plastic uh, sorry away from plastic towards uh, paper um, like drink box water bottles sort of things. If Americans pay attention to Canada, the entire country could disappear, and it wouldn't make the nightly news here. But we watch what's happening in Canada because it's fascinating. How could such a nice country become totalitarian so quickly? Are there lessons for us? Well, for example, a high school student in Canada has been arrested for declaring that men and women are different. Josh Alexander attended St. Joseph's High School, Catholic High School in Renfrew, Ontario. He was barred from school from the grounds for saying that God created two genders, because that's... Maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to... Uh, we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind. There's a new trend on social media tonight, hashtag where is Justin Trudeau? It's not a rhetorical question. It's not funded by Canada's opposition either. It's a genuine qu query of ordinary Canadians. Where is their prime minister? Unfortunately, nobody knows. Trudeau says he has contracted the Wuhan virus, but no one knows where he's isolating. Normally, he would be in his Ottawa office on Mondays. Today, he wasn't. He and his family were moved to an undisclosed location. In other words, he fled. Do you know why? because the white knight of democracy could not handle a protest. He, he's been a very, very successful politician, no matter how you look at it, just in his tenure, how long he's lasted. He, in my view, is the worst manager Canada has ever had. The worst. The absolute worst. There is no one as bad as he's been. And I don't mean that with any disrespect. He's just a terrible manager. He's completely unqualified to be the CEO of Canada, which is what the Prime Minister is.